Hi, it's Terry. I'm back again with part two of my haunted house for my craft along series. Uh, before y'all don't pay attention to mine, I've torn it apart from what we did before so that I'll be able to show um, the other people who are finishing the insides how to create theirs. I've got to straighten this camera a little bit better, I think. Let's see. I think that ought to work better. Um, so what we have now, I'm going to kind of push that off to the sides. What we have now are the front, is the front section and the um, extended front area, which are these four pieces. And how this works is this will be connected here. Whoops, see if I can hold this. This will be connected here. Let's try this way. I don't know if I can hold this off. And then that little piece over to my left will go up on top. This then, once finished, will be connected to the front here in the center. And this piece will be attached here. Now, if you're, let's go ahead. Yours will probably look like this now with your floors on the inside. But if you're going, you're not concerned about finishing the inside, then you can permanently attach um, this piece once this piece has been attached our section has been attached and Permanently attach it here because you won't be opening it and there will be two little strips here that will go along the side that will help connect this to each one of the sides so Let's go ahead and connect this piece up and I mentioned in my earlier uh, project that if you um if you are going to be finishing the insides, I'm going to go through that step by step in a written tutorial. I'm not sure how much I'll show in a video, but um, I'll try to show the construction parts in the video and then if I do any special um, kind of treatments on it or anything. So, um, but for right now, I'm just trying to get this part done for those who want to just go ahead and do the inside or the outside, I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and I'm using the, uh, again, the Eileen's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. Get that open. And these are going to attach, let me double check this before I do it wrong. This has to attach to the front here and these attach to the outside so do I have extra space? Yeah, I've made them so they attach here. Okay. So these are going to attach onto that surface. So that's what we'll do first. So I want to put glue down the side here. And you can't attach this to the base, so you're going to have to be really careful about how you get this on here straight. So I'm trying to think. This would probably be the easier way to go about this. So I've laid the side down, and I've connected the front piece to it. Just going to kind of hold that there for a few minutes to give it time to grab hold because you'll be able to um, move this a little bit. I think it's grabbed hold there. So I'm going to get my jar over here. Kind of try to line it up there so that it's straight. And we'll give that just a second to dry before we flip it over. <clears throat> and again, this is going to rest right here. I'll try to sit it up there. And then this will attach to the front. And I'm just gonna, I'm not going to attach it in the video, I'm just gonna do a mock so you'll see that should be good. Let's pull this up. This is what I love about these craft sheets. You can just kinda wipe your glue off and the next sheet we're going to do. Again, just adding glue along this edge. And 
and we're going to flip lay this down and bring this over to this side hopefully this is all still in camera good and i'm just holding that in place for a couple of seconds i don't want to bring this around here oops And you want to line these up at the bottom so that they're flush at the bottom. There'll be a little lip here. That's because of the other piece that goes on top. And if you have a boo-boo, it is easy to fix. You can pull these apart with a craft knife, as you can see I've done there. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to set this up this way. And I'm going to use this as a guide and slide it in to place. That'll help you get this piece straight as well. Okay. And now we're going to add the top section. And this fits right like this. It'll be flush here on the sides, flush at the back, and you'll have a gap here at the front. And there's a purpose for that that I'll show you later on. So, you just need to put glue here on both of these edges. And I think you're going to have to put a little bit right there. We'll put a couple little piece of dots right here. I'm not sure if you're going to need that there or not. Because I think it just sits right up next to it. But Okay, I want to make sure that's flush. Make sure this side is flush. And there you go. And all of this outside is going to be covered, so if you get some glue spots or ink or dirt, don't worry about it. None of it is going to show. So there's that section. And again, this section, for those who are not, I'm going to bend this a little bit, are not... Um, Finishing the inside, you can go ahead and glue this on. You'll have your sides already finished and your inside. So you can go ahead and glue this onto the front after you do your windows. And I'll tell you about the windows here in just a second. And once you've glued that on, this can be glued onto the front here. Now, the windows. You need to decide if you want your windows blacked out because we are going to light it. Now, you cannot light it. You, it's up to you whether you want to put lighting in it or not. It's fairly inexpensive to do. I'll have links and show you step-by-step step how to do it, but it's really very simple. You can light it so that it can be run off of batteries, or you can light it so that it plugs into the wall, either one you want to do. And again, that's a whole other video, so we'll get there eventually. This is, again, not a quick overnight project. So, um, if you want your windows blacked out and you don't care about lighting, you can just cut black construction or black cardstock and plate glue it over top of the opening for the windows. And I believe I made that at one and a half by two inches should cover any size window. Let me check my, yeah, one and a half by two inch rectangles will cover all these. So at this point you would need to stop, cut your rectangles and glue them so that all your windows are blacked out. You need to do them on the sides, the front, and your very front part. Uh, this bottom one, that's not a window, that's a door. So do not put construction, or I keep trying to, try to say construction paper, cardstock here. You wanna leave that open for now. 
So that's where we're at at this point. I will take a uh, photo or images of this and show you and place that on the blog post. And then at this point, once you get to that point, you're kind of set until I get the rest of it done for the other people. And I will have on the post, this is part one, so I'll have on there what part you need to jump to to go ahead and work, start working on the outside finishing. Uh, we still have, there is a main roof section that will go here and another roof section that goes here and they kind of butt up. So that will be another construction part. So I will see you back when we get to that point. Have a great day. Bye.